and we're live live recorded this is 5 a.m master scrum it's about seven something in the morning i am on the road so i'm filming from my car i hope all is doing well let's put this back out here a little bit get some light there there we go i don't know if that's better anyway hey it's 5 a.m master scrum hope you're all having a great weekend i'm doing some training down in uh, columbia trying to bring stuff up to philly here um my name is greg mester i'm an scrum master and agile coach sharing some scrum and agile tips for in the office at home and other things or businesses and uh today i got two items to talk about sorry it's not 5 a.m but the wireless in the hotel room was terrible and would drop out so i'm doing it from the car and this is live recorded and i will post it very shortly so two things i want to talk about today uh i want to talk about Going from one system to another, whether it be Jira, Rally, VSTS, version one, you know, the whole thing, Trillo, whatever. Um, talk about going from one different uh, data capture system to another. And then also want to talk about uh, daily standups or daily scrums, as I like to call them, um, and a need for an agenda in those meetings. So, first, let's just talk about Rally. Now let's do do the daily daily stand up first. This is why it's live because it jumps around. So one of the things, and I'm I'm working on facilitation with the class, and so many people miss out on this and what why they why it goes that way. And I believe it's really important when you invite people to daily scrum, little outlook invites and things like that, that you really need to put an agenda, and they should have a couple of things. So one, you know. You should write all the people that are invited to attend in the agenda so they know who's there. You write your teammates first, and then you write your product owner, and then you write your scrum master. Some people have a BA, so I do all the teammates, the BA, the product owner, then the scrum master, and then the stakeholders can say something. And it's really important to say in that email who can say stuff and who can not, and because you can have stakeholders show up at your um, daily scrum that may want to say something but they really shouldn't and you can put a line in the agenda to those people if you have something you want to bring up bring it to me as a scrum master first and i'll check and make sure it, it will be okay and it won't cause disruption in my my team and that's important because so many people will show up at a daily scrum and just blow it up right because they didn't know enough about agile they just showed up and think oh i got invited to this meeting i gotta be here the other thing is having it in a list, and I think I mentioned this before in an early one, and an ordered list is important. That way people, when you have um, off-site, non-co-located teams, I know it's really great when you have co-located teams and you don't have to worry about a list and what order it is, but when you don't, it's really important because this allows everybody to know when they are to go and talk the next. Also, you can put your questions, what kind of things you might want to have in that meeting. And what I would do just to change it up if I was Scrum Master. So you have the invite. It goes out every week. It has some basic structure to it, right? So everybody kind of knows what the agenda is and how it works. And in new people, they, they get to see that. And you send out your three questions and how you might want to do it where we say, what I got done yesterday, the new thing about what am I committing to, to today, right? And then one of my blockers. Um, to getting stuff done and also one of the transition points and we talked about that before so people should be saying I am going to be done today with my code and I'm going to transition over to the Greg to do some testing right or maybe the testers like I'll be done later to uh, this afternoon maybe we can get the PO together we can review the results or the team and see what there is or I found a bug last night and uh, here's the bug number and here's what it's about. I think it's related to this and maybe someone on the dev team can take a look at it. So this is the kind of things that should be said in the daily scrum. But having that list helps it go by. You're not saying, hey, is Greg on the phone? And you hear, oh, no. Or, or the other thing, I love these things, the beeps, right? If you don't have to worry about who's on the phone, it's a distraction. It's called about taking away time from that meeting. So you don't spend five minutes going, is Craig on the phone? Is Joe on the phone? Is Sally on the phone? Who's on the phone? That's, that's just a distraction and it's just annoying. 
Um, so having the agenda with people who are attending and then put when they speak and what they speak about, right? So that they know what kind of participation they have. Um, it'll make your on-site non-co-located teams do really well. And I would even do that. And then the other nice thing about putting that outlook is that if you want to change up or, or bring something up with the uh, daily scrum, you know, you can let everybody know in the email or, hey, we're going to talk about the end of the sprint today after when I get there just to give them a, a hint to go look at stuff, right? I mean, people, oh, my God, you're saying something about the daily scrum you should do. But it, it's okay. It, it helps that communication so that when they do get in the daily scrum, you can have that conversation. Like if there's a million bugs got generated in the last release, you can ha you can say, oh, by the way, when it's my turn to talk about it, I just want to chat about the bugs. Maybe they go in the system and go take a look at it before the meeting and be prepared. So it's just something I would do. Um, also, the other thing, if you share, you should invite all your stakeholders. I want to say this. Have the agenda. Invite your stakeholders to daily scrum. They should, if they have time, they can sit and listen, see how things are going. They don't have to contribute. They can be on eight things, doing emails, whatever. They pop in. They just listen to the daily scrum, see how it's going. Show up in the meeting room. I always invite my daily my stakeholders. The people who are scared to invite their, their stakeholders are scared because their work ain't that good. So, anyway. So, that's daily scrum. Um, hope you're liking this. Please like. This is 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Please like and subscribe. And now I want to talk about moving software around. So many times I see Agile coaches that are Agile coach in name only because, and you can see the sun on my face, ooh, it's live. Um, because they are good with Rally or Jira or VSTS or, or Azure or whatever the, the brand of the day is, right? Ooh, I'm going to work on the shady. There you go. Um, but maybe they have been Agile coaches. When people have to do new systems, what I recommend is that you as an Agile coach or someone who's involved in doing that, you go and um, write stories yourself. I know we always talk about everybody else writing stories. Let's see if I can get a better thing. I've got this big shade thing on my head. There we go. That'll be weird looking. Um, write user stories for the data and how the data was used. Go like, hey, my RTE would want to use wants to see XYZ so they can plan how their, their train's doing. Uh, my program office wants to see the planning data, how much the initiatives are, or, or epics are, how they're progressing. My product owner, my business side, wants to see how their features are progressing with the stories so that they can plan for releasing or doing advertising or something like that. Um, but write stories on what they want to do. The reason why I say that is people are so used to using their old systems, the fields, the structures, the things they would generate the reports for, that they'll try to use that information and tell you, I need exactly this in the new system. And that's the wrong way to approach it. What you should approach it, because every system does it slightly different, right? A little bit different than the other system but they give you the same data it just comes in a different format which may be like oh I need to make it exact no systems gonna be exact so don't even try it I, they, they I have heard things we're doing a transition I need it exactly like it was before it says I can't give it exactly like this before because it's a totally new software program and it's not gonna be that and we're not spending the money to revamp the, reinvent the software so my recommendation for Azure coaches, sit there, take some time out. I'm doing that myself right now. And draw user stories. Use the full user story format because it's also a training opportunity, right? So as a PM, I want to see the progress of my project stories and features throughout the release cycle so that I can keep my bosses informed, right? Or my, my stakeholders informed. That's a good one. Now you might want to make it more detailed of what that would be. I want to know how much work is done and how much work is left to be done. And maybe you, then, then you can use whatever mechanisms come out of the software tool to provide that information. It may be different, but it's usual. But anyway, that's what I would recommend. Draw up some user stories. One, it helps them know what a user story is supposed to look like, right? 
and it actually helps formulate what you're going to be doing. Sometimes we get out of practice at doing that. So for agile coaches and scrum masters who are working on transition softwares, you write the user story, not a BA, you can write it. Or just get some practice, or maybe your BA can write it, who knows. Anyway, I want to wish everybody a great day. It's a Sunday, the birds are about to fly over my car. There you go in the window. Um, hope you have a great day. Happy scrumming. Again, please like and subscribe to um, 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Sorry I wasn't live live, but it's live recorded. As you can tell, the sunlight's coming and the birds just flew over my car and everything. So have a great day. Happy scrumming and enjoy. See you on Monday. Bye.